At Fabric Cafe, we teach you how to upsize a quilt. But today, we're downsizing. Keep watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. And today, we're downsizing. And basically, we are doing this because we've had so many requests for quilts to be a little bit smaller and be able to use them in different ways. So we are gonna be focusing on more of a baby size quilt. Now, it doesn't have to be used for baby, keep that in mind. They'd be great for you know, table coverings or wall hangings or all different things. But the basic size we're gonna be focused on today is 30 inches by 46 inches, all the way up to 36 inches to 50 inches. So these are the size that, sizes that we will be working with. Now, I'm gonna show you a few patterns first that are already falling within those ranges, and then we're gonna go into a few patterns and show you how you can change the pattern and make them that size so that they fit your wall, your table covering, or your crib if you need that as well. So let's jump in and look at the first quilt. So the first quilt is Topsy Turvy. Now this is one of my very favorite, and you know, this is one of the very first three yard quilts I ever designed. And it has just been so popular and it's so much fun. It is one of those quilts that has one block that's made over and over and turned to create this great design. So let's put it on the table and check out the fabric. So Topsy Turvy here, like I said, is a one block quilt. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you the block with the cropping tool. And this is just darling fabric, isn't it? I just love it. So what we've got here is just a very simple block. And as you can see, what we will start with a strip assembly here. Let me get this straight so you can see it well. And it's just two, your focus and your number two fabric. And then we've got another strip assembly with our number two and number three. We sew those together and that makes this one block. Now we take this block and make it over and over, and then we turn it all different directions, and that's what gives the great pattern on Topsy Turvy. So it's a really good one, and it's also the perfect size for a wall hanging, table cover, crib, baby, all of those kinds of things. This is so sweet. These are our sun and moon and stars here on the gray. I love these colors. They're very, very peaceful, very, very pleasant for baby and our focus fabric will go in our block here as well as on our border. And then our number two fabric, so cute. It's got some little words on it that I really like. It says made of stardust, which what little one, you just think about that and you think they're just made of so many special things and stardust could be one of those. D for dream, all of these little things that are so cute. So our number two fabric of course goes here in our block on our border as well. And then our number three fabric, it is this, it's kind of a gold, but it's very soft. And it just coordinates so perfectly with our focus as well as our number two fabric. It picks up all the little gold stars and moons. It goes in our block on our little corner piece, as well as on our borders and our binding. So it's just so super sweet. This kit is 80. 23026. It is called To the Moon and Back. And it is topsy turvy. And the pattern is from our book, Three Yards Quilts for Kids. And it is also available as an individual pattern. Our next quilt is Square Dance. And this is a fun one. And it goes together really quick as well. Because we just have a simple block here. And then a square and a square here, you put those together and it makes such a fun, kind of interesting pattern and unique design. Perfect size as well. So let's put that on the table, look at that fabric. Now, as we go through these, we are showing you the quilts that are already the perfect smaller size. But stay tuned because we're gonna be showing you how to change up the sizes of a pattern that's larger and we're gonna downsize it. So keep watching. So let's look at the fabric for this pattern. Now square dance, like I said, it's very fun. And we have these sweet elephants. I just love elephants. I just love it whenever I find a show on TV and it's talking about the elephants and the mamas and the babies and how sweet they are and how smart they are. So this kind of makes me think of that. So fabric number one is our elephants here and it goes in this block here where all the polka dots are. And then our fabric number two is this fun green. Now you can see how well it picks up the green for the elephants here. And that is gonna go everywhere 
the yellow is. <laughs> And then our number three, this great gray that has all the different little colors on here, also picks up the elephant colors and it will go everywhere the stripe is. And it'll be a nice border for our focus here. I think it's gonna really look great. Now, once again, this is already sized for a smaller quilt. So it'll be perfect for all of those people out there looking for a smaller quilt. Now, this is called Trumpet of Joy. The kit number is 8023027. It is the square dance pattern from the book Quilts for Kids. And this is big picture. Now this quilt was designed for fun fabric because as you can see, it has a very large block here. And that is so that you can really show off a beautiful fabric. And this would also be a great one to use as a tabletop. So for instance, if you have a nursery and you would like to have a side table next to the rocking chair, this would be great draped over the table or it would be great as a wall hanging in a nursery as well. And of course, used as a quilt. Let's put it on the table and check out the fun fabric we have for this one. Now, I am very traditional when it comes to babies. And I still like the pink and blue versions of things. And I love this one because the sheep has this really beautiful pink in the background. And it also has some little birds that are just so sweet, some moon and some stars. And how restful is this? This pink is gonna go in the very large block here, so you're gonna to get to really see it and really appreciate all of these sweet little guys. Our number two fabric, perfect gray, a little subtle floral. That is gonna go in the background here in our block. And then our number three, perfect match with our focus fabric. Once again, with the little flowers and butterflies and everything, and that will go in our block here and on the border. So really, really like this one. I think it's gonna make up beautifully. The number here is 8023028. It is called Counting Sheep. This is our big picture pattern from our Quilts for Kids. Now I have a blue version of sheep. I just love this. I just think it's so cute because we've got our sheep in our blue background. Once again, with all of our little birds in here and our moons and our stars. And once again, this will be our large block in the quilt. And then our number two, this very fun dot. This is a great dot because it actually picks up the darker blue of the bird here, which is perfect. It will go in the background here and on our border. And then our number three, perfectly coordinated with our focus, will be in our block border as well and on the border. This is so, so cute. Now, all three of the quilts that we've just looked at are perfectly sized for baby already. So they're gonna make those great quilts. Uh, great table toppers, great wall hangings, all of those things. They're all from our book, Three Yard Quilts for Kids. And as you can see on the back, we have eight patterns, all great patterns. And don't forget, when you buy three kits, you can take the book for free. So let's look at the kit information on this one. This is our baby sheep. It's called Baby Blue, and it's 8023029. It is our big picture pattern from the book Quilts for Kids, or of course it's available as an individual. Now I wanna show you a quilt that is a little bit larger size and we're gonna show you how to downsize it. So let's look at the quilt pattern. This is our spools pattern and this is so much fun, I really like it. The way that this block is put together, it creates this fun spool design here and we're just making it over and over again, which you know how fun that is and it makes it much easier when you're assembling. And then we have these great generous borders. So let's put this on the table and talk about downsizing it. So we have some fun fabric here that is very similar to our model fabric here, but just a little bit different colorway. We have our nice peach with all the fun words, love, peace, joy, love that with all the little flowers. Now this orange is our focus fabric and it is everywhere the green is, the border and in our spools block. Now our background is this fun polka dot and the polka dot picks up all the little colors in here as well as all the colors in our number three. That will be our background. And then our number three fabric once again is um, a blue and a similar fabric here that also has all of the words, the love, peace, and joy, which is really fun. That goes in this spool block here and on the border. So what's really great, this pattern is from our Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilts book. And let me just show you here how this works. We have a finished size of this quilt. When you make it just like the pattern says, 
which is 44 by 59. And you can see here how wonderful and generous all of these borders are. Now, I have an image on the screen that shows you exactly what it's gonna look like made up in these fabrics with the same borders in place and everything. You can see that it finishes off lovely, very darling. So now let's downsize it and show you the easiest way to do that. So the easiest way to downsize this is to remove the two outer borders. That would be border number two and border number three. And whenever you do that, the finished size of the quilt is 35 by 50 inches, which is the perfect size that we're looking for that falls in that baby quilt size category. So, and as you can see on the screen, we have an image there for you. And you can see it looks equally darling. Now what's really great is you're gonna have a little fabric left over. And you're gonna be able to use this if you like to do a double fold binding, you could do it that way and use that fabric there. Or you can make some little extra accessories for the room that coordinate, which would be perfect. Okay, let's look at this quilt kit. This kit is Sweet Garden. And the number is 8023030. And it is our spools kit from our book, Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilts, also available as an individual. Okay, so now what if you like the borders on your quilt? You don't wanna drop a border, but you still wanna make the quilt smaller. So let's look at our next pattern and I will step through how to do that. Our next pattern is so quick. Now this is one of our number one patterns here at Fabric Cafe and it's so understandable why it is because it is a super fast one, nice big block, quick four patch and it just goes together well and it really shows off a of focus fabric. So let's put it on the table and talk about downsizing this one. So we have some really fun fabric too to work with. I just love this one. These are the funkiest fun little zebras I've ever seen here. And I love the color combination with the greens. We have a fun little zebra with a little happy face and a green polka dot background. And this little guy is gonna go everywhere this big block is here. Now our number two fabric, also a green. Now it's almost like he's out on the prairie with all of these fun leaves here. Fun green, lots of leaves, and that is gonna go everywhere the green polka dot is, on the border and on the binding. And then our number three fabric, and of course we have to bring in this black and white because that little zebra, that black and white is his signature. We need that in there. So number three is everywhere the purple is, and then a nice border here. And as you can see, the borders are gonna really make this quilt. Now I have a great image on the screen that you can see how great it comes together in its full size. Now the pattern itself, the full size of the pattern, let's just take a look at that really quick. Um, it finishes at 48 by 58 exactly as it's written. So it's really a lot of fun. Now what if you want to downsize it, make it a little bit smaller. We've got a really simple way to do that so you can keep that fun border with that black and white polka dot. All you're gonna do is not make as many blocks. We're gonna take one row from the right side and one row from the bottom and remove it and don't make it. Then continue to make your borders exactly as the pattern states. Now, whenever you do this, the pattern will finish at 38 by 48. So, so quick is the perfect one. Now, there is an image on the screen so you can see how that looks in its downsized version and how cute it still is. It still keeps that great pattern, that great continuity, and those fun borders. Now, if you're gonna choose a pattern that you're gonna remove a row on the right side and a bottom row, you might wanna just actually double check the pattern. Because for instance, I'm gonna use Pinwheel as an example. This one, if you remove one row from the bottom and one row from the side, it doesn't quite keep the pinwheel pattern the way we would want. So you might wanna consider that. And you see how I've just laid two pieces of paper on top of the image? You could do the same thing to see if it's gonna work. So perfect, perfect way and so fun to downsize it and keep those borders. This is called Zoo Babies and it's 8023031. This is our So Quick pattern and it is from our Quilt Favorites book. Okay, so now we're gonna downsize by taking the two things that we've learned and combining them. So let's look at our next quilt. 
This is our Pinwheel Plus One quilt. Such a fun pattern, another one of our very popular ones. We have a nice size uh, simple block here alternated with a fun pinwheel so that our focus fabrics will really pop, but it still has that great movement. So let's put it on the table and look at our fabric. Okay, so we have some really sweet mama ducks and baby ducks. I really, really like this. And you can see how sweet and loving their relationship is right here. And we have some fun little words, tiny and new, little duckling, such a sweet focus fabric. Now what's really cool here, we have a directional fabric and Pinwheel Plus One is the perfect pattern for a directional fabric to use as your focus fabric because it is gonna go in the block here. So if you have something like this, or if you choose to purchase this kit, it's gonna work beautifully. Now our number two fabric is this fun kind of, it's kind of a soft white with a little gray dot. It's gonna go everywhere the white is here and on the border. And then our number three, again, that really kind of soft, soft gold that picks up the soft gold of the little baby duckling here. And it is gonna go everywhere the blue is here. Okay, so let's look at this pattern just for a moment. Now, Pinwell Plus One finishes the way it's written in the book at 45 by 59. Now, let's look at the image on the screen and you can see how beautifully this fabric goes in this pattern exactly as it's written. So it's just absolutely darling with this fabric and how it's gonna go together. Now, let's downsize it. So in order to downsize it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the first step, we're gonna lose a border. Now we're just gonna lose the outside border. This is border number three. Then we're also, now I'm doing this backwards, we're also gonna lose a row on the right and a row on the bottom. So you're only gonna have four blocks across and one, two, three, four, five, six blocks down. And that new size is 36 by 50. So we're removing a bottom row, removing the right-hand side row, and removing border number three. And as you can see by the image on the screen, how darling it still looks because you still have that border, not quite as many blocks on the interior of the quilt, which is great. And it gives it the perfect, perfect size. So uh, let's look at the kit information on this one. So we have bedtime story. And the number is 8022438. The pattern is Pinwheel Plus One from our book, Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilts, or it's also available as an individual. Well, I hope that you enjoyed all of these tips for downsizing a quilt. And remember, most quilts can be downsized. So just use the little paper trick by laying it over the image on the pattern. And more than likely, you too can downsize just about any pattern. So thanks so much for joining us. It's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe.